It's called Spice, K2, Fake Weed, Yucatan Fire, Skunk, Moon Rocks, and that's just a few. It's even often labeled not for human consumption. The real concern is we really don't know what is actually in those products. Today on Demarva Life, we're talking about the use of synthetic drugs. How big the problem is, which age group is abusing it most, the nasty ingredients smokers are ingesting, and why just using one time could kill you. The patients that we've been treating are suffering from acute delirium. They they're, have no cognitive ability. They're, they're completely out of control. They're extremely aggressive uh, with EMS. They don't have any control over what they're doing. Some people feel they have more control over their pain by using medicinal marijuana. It's approved in some Delmarva states, and there's even talk amongst lawmakers to expand its use. So if it's good enough for humans, our four-legged friends can use it too? I have a three-year-old at home, and I understand that because she's gotten in my dog treats before and has eaten them. So I do understand that, and I don't think, I mean, unless you have them seriously locked up, then, you know, any kid's going to find a way to get to them. I don't feel like that's safe at all. We learn more about this new debate. A lot of us seek inspiration from others, and what better inspiration do you need than this young man? I love it because it gives me freedom. WBOC Sports Director Scott Abraham joins us with Andrew's story. This man's story includes one of whipping up tasty Thanksgiving turkeys by way of deep frying, but that may not be the healthiest choice. So he's found some more creative ways for us to make our favorite cookout foods while losing the fat and keeping the flavor. Well, it's summertime and a lot of the restaurants are starting to open up. I'm at Captain's Galley in West Ocean City trying some of the old favorites and fresh new dishes they'll be serving up this summer. And Sean's not the only one eating great food today. Lisa and I make our way into the Del Marva Life kitchen to make a delicious buffalo chicken pasta dish. Oh, Del Marva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Del Marva Live from Historic Studio D. Boy, am I enjoying the spring That's weather. Gorgeous. It's taken so long for it to get here, but it's yeah. finally here. And you want to be on the lookout starting today because you're probably going to notice a lot of motorcyclists in the area. That's because thousands of them are expected for the Bikes to the Beach Spring Rally, which begins today. Now, in correlation with Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month, which begins tomorrow, the Ocean City Police Department is reminding motorcyclists and motorists to share the road and be extra alert to keep everyone safe. Now, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, motorcyclists are much more vulnerable than a passenger vehicle occupant in the event of a crash. And yeah. motorcyclists should remain alert to other drivers, never ride impaired or distracted and always wear a helmet yes. and other protective gear. You'll have a good time. Play it safe. See them all over the place. Mm -hmm. Look two or three times. Make sure you don't yeah. miss scenes. Now, if you like things a little slower, <laughs> the 16th Annual Multicultural Festival is this weekend at Easton's Idlewild Park. Going to be a variety of musical and dance acts such as the Walladane African Drummers, a Chinese Air Who player, Waso Taiko Drummers, Tierra Santa, and student dancers from the Multicultural Resources Center. Food vendors this year are going to sell Argentinian, Pakistani, Guatemalan, Mexican, Salvadorian delights. The Talbot County Department of Social Services is going to have more children's activities than ever before. The Avalon Foundation presents the event from 10 in the morning until 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. That sounds like a great event. Take your kids. I mean, if you don't travel around the world, you have the whole world coming here. Coming to you. But yeah, something else that's coming up, the 78th Annual Maryland House and Garden Pilgrimage. And this year, Buckland, East Newmarket Mayor Caroline Klein's Home and Garden are included. The Maryland House and Garden Pilgrimage is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the preservation and restoration of architecturally significant properties in Maryland. Now, Chacon Village oh, wow. at Hansel in Vienna will also be on the pilgrimage. The pilgrimage, founded in 1937, provides access to some of Maryland's noteworthy private properties. Now, advance tickets for each tour are $30, $35 of purchasing day of. Catered lunches will be available on all tours and you can get more information by calling this number 410-821-6933. That I would find fascinating. Absolutely. Just the history and the culture and something else that, that has a lot of culture that I really like. Here's your shot at some really good bluegrass. The local bluegrass quartet, Free Range, will perform tomorrow evening. Avalon Theater's Stoltz Listening Room. Based in Caroline County, the band consists of Allie Reed Quillen there on guitar and vocals. Steve Quillen is right there on fiddle and vocals. 
Kurt Fox is on the banjo and vocals, and there's Phyllis Dodd on bass and vocals. Free range, performing everything from bluegrass to folk to Irish. Tomorrow evening, 8 o'clock, tickets $15, and you can get more information by giving them a call, 410-822-7299. I love bluegrass. Yes. Always have. I guess it's my West Virginia roots. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's head back to Salisbury. You know, Salisbury University continues to grow. Take a look at this. This is how they expect the new wow. Seagull Stadium to look by the end of next year. Year. It's part of a 10-year, yeah. 129-page plan to expand, renovate, and strengthen the 183-acre main and east campuses. I cannot wait to go see the first lacrosse match that's in that stadium be beautiful. and football game and, and everything mm -hmm. else that's going on there. There is a lot of technology that goes on at SU, and while we're talking about technology, we talk a lot about yeah. STEM or science, technology, engineering, and math. Hundreds of students from all over Delaware put their quick thinking and engineering skills to the test in more than 60 different events at the Technology Student Association State Conference at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. Yesterday and today, small wooden dragsters zipped along the track, <laughs> handmade maglev trains battled forward against the wind from a fan, balsa wood bridges bent under weights, a whole bunch more. Luke Ryan, who's the Director of Career and Tech, uh, Technical Education and Science, Math, Technology and Engineering at the Department of Education, his card is like, <laughs> it's like that long. this long. Uh, he said the competitions are designed to complement what students are learning in the classroom. I'm glad you brought that up because something else that complements what students are learning in the classroom is 4-H and Talbot County 4-H is doing really well. This year junior leaders or 4-H ambassadors displayed their leadership and public speaking by presenting awards to 62 fellow members. Talbot 4-H members document their learning experiences and community service work by completing annual record books. How about that? I was in 4-H. Were you in 4-H? I, yes, I was, but it was just one year. I loved the debate part. Yeah. Loved the debate. Driving down the highway, uh -huh. have you ever looked at like a big 18-wheeler or something and wondered if it was going to fit under a bridge? Yeah, and there's like this much room. It doesn't look like there's much room yeah. at all. Well, that's especially important to know. Oh, no. Especially if you're a fire truck. Okay. On your way and in a hurry. That wasn't the close one. Yeah, no. This is. No, no, no. Okay. Take a look at this. Slow down just so you can get an idea of how close. Oh, that is ladder 161 goodness. out of Champaign, Illinois. You know they travel that way a lot and know how close. Don't change the tire <laughs> pressure for Pete's sake. It's going to get nasty. Now, while we're talking about close calls, if you are a NASCAR fan, you probably remember Elliot Sadler's 2003 crash in the M&M's car at Talladega. Oh, no there it is. Oh, yeah, I do. Lap 181, near contact. Air gets under his car. He's up and over on the roof until he gets to the asphalt, flips it six more times. <sighs> Why are we looking at and this? And he walked away from this, by the way. <laughs> Candy crushed. Oh, okay. That's why we're looking at that. Oh, Isn't that an incredible okay. thing? Wow, what an accident that was. Good news is he walked he away. He did. He walked away. Shaken, unhurt. Yeah. Good thing. And the weather's getting nicer. Yeah. I just want to throw this out there real quick. And when it's like this, <laughs> you just want to take your toys outside and play. <laughs> well, what do you do when your toy is bigger than the door oh, that you, you? got to get through? Well, rule number one is you never give up. <laughs> Rule number two, engage a friend to consult you to figure out how in the world you can overcome this problem. Rule number three is referral back to rule number one. And, and don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> you know, Jagger does that. He tries to get through the doggy door with a stick with in his mouth. <laughs> well, you know, the weather heating up makes me want to get outside and run, and I'm not alone in that. Athletics here on the peninsula are in full swing. And later, we hear the story of one local athlete who is living with cerebral palsy. How he's overcoming his diagnosis, achieving more than he could have ever dreamed. And now, how he's going for the gold. Well, more people are taking a more dangerous route in a search of a feeling of euphoria. Synthetic drugs are becoming a real problem in communities across the country and here on Delmarva. You're going to find out how it's even forcing emergency workers to figure out a new approach when it comes to responding to drug calls. Plus, we've heard of medical marijuana for humans, but what about for your dogs? And a little bit later on, we switch gears and head into the Del Marble Life Kitchen where Lisa teaches me how to make her famous buffalo chicken pasta. And get this, it's healthy. Plus, Del Marble Life Sean Stryker takes a trip to West Ocean City to serve up a delicious seafood dish. Del Marble Life will be right back. Del Marble Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers 
and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.